What is up RC enthusiasts? David back here again and today I've got something a little bit different but it's still something we use for our RC especially if we want to know how fast our RCs can go. Now I've never owned any of this I usually just use one of my smaller cell phones you know one of these right here as you can tell it's got a crack on it from being crashed on an RC car already but yeah you know this right here has a GPS meter you can get apps for it on your phone but guess what if you're gonna be running little cars like these like this this right here sitting on this or taped to this that's gonna add a lot of weight to your truck and that will definitely lower your top speed rating and you're not gonna get a more accurate rating of how fast your vehicle can actually go so all right let's get to this video I want to show you guys what I got for you guys we have the sky RC speed meter or this one says GNSS speed meter so it does look a little different from what I've seen other people reviewing or other people using. Theirs looks like it has color on the Sky RC logo and stuff. This one is all just black and white looking with gray body on it. And if you could tell on here, the model number is a little different from the other ones too. Now I'm not sure if this is older or newer, but I'm gonna have to assume that this is a newer version of the speed checker because right here, I didn't have to update any firmware or anything like that to get it to read miles an hour all you gotta do is just hold down the mode button it switches from kilometers to miles so all that updates are already installed in this one so this might be a newer version but i'm not sure so let's go ahead and pop this open you get your charging cable which is just micro usb so you could use any micro usb and you got your little speed checker man this thing wastes nothing like i'm pretty sure this won't even take a mile an hour away from your truck or whatever you're trying to you know record now this thing right here can record top speed average speed altitude and also location if you're using it on a drone so you can figure out where your drone has been and what altitude it's been at and how fast it went and everything so you could log all that data on here and you can connect this to your computer and transfer all the data on there so if you're interested in that kind of stuff this thing is a pretty good data logger for that but for me I'm more of a ground vehicle person. I do have a quadcopter that I might put this on just to see how fast that quadcopter really goes. But this right here is gonna mainly be used for speed testing on any of my trucks that I feel like speed testing. I mean, I'm even gonna speed test those WPLs to see how slow they can actually crawl. Maybe, Maybe it won't even detect it and it won't even record how slow those things go, but we'll see. Let me bring you guys closer so you can see what this looks like and I'll turn this on for you guys. All right, guys, here's your SkyRC GSM 015 GNSS speed meter tiny little thing this side right here we've got your usb port for charging and for data logging this side right here it's got nothing on it this side right here has your servo connection for connecting a six volt power supply so you can have an external power supply powering this thing up and you have your power button right there and on the top side you're gonna have your mode and your enter buttons all right, well, let's go ahead and turn the sucker on. There you go, it's turning on right now. Now right here, it's gonna go ahead and show us the UTC time, and I don't think it's correct, but I can fix that probably on the computer or something when I connect this thing. We have to wait for the little signal up here in the corner to show up, and that will let us know that we're connected to a satellite, and then we can start using the device. All right, I don't know if you can tell up there, but we have managed to get connection. Can't even really show it to you, can I? Bad angles. But there you go. See the little satellite looking thing right there? That means we got satellite connection. And now you're just gonna go through your modes so you can do what you wanna do with the speed meter. I click it once, it takes me to the speed checker. Now this is just gonna tell you your speed, but it's not gonna record it in this mode. Now when you hit peak, it's gonna go ahead and record your peak right there. But also I noticed if you don't press this, it's when you get when you go to this peak menu and you did do a run, it'll still show you what your peak was. So it doesn't have to be on this peak setting in order to save that. Then your next setting is gonna be your average speed. So it's gonna tell you what your average speed was for that ent entire. So it'll tell you your average speed for that entire run or flight. The next you got your altitude, which will tell you your altitude in meters or feet. Then you got your peak altitude. 
Then you got your trip meter. You can do kilometers or miles an hour with this one. And this is gonna be your coordinates. So this is gonna be, you know, your coordinate one and coordinate two. So that's gonna tell you your coordinates of where you're at. And right here is gonna be your time. Well, it's not the correct time for my location, but I don't know if that has anything to do with me being inside the house and I'll figure out how to set this up. So yeah, right here in the back, this thing has got a little 200 milliamp hour battery right here that you can replace. I'm glad that they made it replaceable. So if it does go bad, you can get yourself another battery. And that's pretty much it guys. I mean, it's just a little speed checker. It's pretty cool. You can switch it from kilometers to miles an hour by just holding down the mode button right here. There you go, it's in miles an hour right now. And that's gonna change everything. So that's in miles an hour. Your altitude is gonna be in feet. And then your trip is gonna be in miles. So it does switch everything when you switch to speed, but you gotta be in that speed setting to switch it from kilometers to miles an hour. So when you're in this setting, you can switch it. Well, there you go, guys. A little GPS speed meter, really handy if you really wanna know how fast you're going, which most of us kinda wanna know, you know, what, what our trucks do and how fast they go and how high they fly. So yeah, it's, you know, I think it's worth it. A little pricey, but if you really, really need to know, then this will help you know. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, hopefully that helped you guys out in deciding whether you want yourself one of these speed checkers to see how fast your RC cars can go, how high your planes can fly or how far they can go. And hopefully this helps you decide whether you want one of these. All right, guys, don't forget Comment, like, and subscribe below if you want to see more of this kind of content. I will be going back to more crawlers pretty soon. I have some running videos coming up for those. And also, don't forget to check down below in my links. I have a coupon code sheet that you can click on that will have a bunch of coupons that Banggood has provided to me to give to you guys for some savings. So go ahead and check that coupon sheet down there on the little link I have down there for you guys. And there's a ton of RCs down there, some that I even haven't reviewed yet. But if you want them, there's good deals to be had right there. So, all right, guys, don't forget, have a great day, always have fun, and go run that RC.